My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my list of my most anticipated TV shows of 2024. So let's get started with a very odd number, but my sixth most anticipated show is Creature Commandos. This is the first bit of James Gunn's DC Universe, and James Gunn is a great writer. He's working with a bunch of C-tier characters, and that seems to be his strengths. I also feel like it could be really funny, very weird, and after Invincible, just animated superhero shows excite me more than the live action ones. I feel like there's a lot more you can do, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually cautiously optimistic for this show. My fifth most anticipated TV show is The Sympathizer which is getting made by Park Chan-wook, who is a fantastic filmmaker, so I can't wait to see what he brings to a TV show. To my understanding, it's like a detective show, but the main reason why I'm so excited for it is that Robert Downey Jr. is playing multiple characters. This guy just elevates everything he's in. Whether it's the MCU, the uh, Sherlock Holmes movies, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, um, Oppenheimer. The guy is always fantastic. And to see him go into a completely different genre, I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be great. My fourth most anticipated TV show is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which, um, just being honest, I've never seen any of the TV shows of them. But this is going to be a continuation of the movie Mutant Mayhem. A movie that I really enjoyed. I liked the characters, their different personalities, the voice cast was great. I loved the style and the animation was just perfection. So to get more of that, but in the TV format... Count me in completely. I can't wait for this. If it's anywhere near as good as the movie, I will like this a lot. So that's why it's on my list. My third most anticipated show is Fallout. Now, I've never played the games, but studios are clearly putting lots of effort in video game adaptations right now. And I just got a good feeling about this one. It's made by Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan. And... He's helped written a lot of Christopher Nolan movies. She directed that Hugh Jackman sci-fi Reminence, which I thought was perfectly fine. Not great, but nowhere near as bad as you've heard it is. I know they did Westworld and whatnot, but um, I, don't know, I, I just got a good feeling about this one. I feel like it could be very entertaining, and Ella Purnell's in this show, and... I'll talk about it more shortly, but she gave one of my favorite performances ever as Jinx in Arcane Season 1, so I can't wait to see what she brings to this show. My second most anticipated TV show is Invincible. I love this show. I think it's brutal, it's emotional, it's filled with compelling characters, it's always entertaining. It's just the best superhero TV show since... Batman Beyond, I would say. And so far, I really like season two. I think it's been quite strong. It has had lots of emotional weight behind it. But the first half set up a lot of stuff that I want to see where it goes. Especially in the last few moments, which I won't give away. But I was just thinking to myself, my goodness. That is an, an amazing hook. I can't wait to watch the rest. So, yes, and it's going to be very, very, very soon to my understanding. But then the most anticipated show is um, not even remotely close to anything else. Um, this isn't just my most anticipated show of 2024. 
it's I'm more excited for this show than any movie coming out next year. And if I'm being honest, I don't know if I've ever been more excited for anything than Arcane League of Legends Season 2. I've never played the game, but my brothers recommended Arcane Season 1 to me, and I went in highly skeptical. And I don't just think this show is good. I don't even think it's just great or amazing. I think it's a fucking masterpiece. I think it is the greatest season of television ever made. And I was blown away by it. The animation is stylish and beautiful. The soundtrack is so good. My goodness. What could have been in Goodbye are two of my most played songs ever, but you've also got Guns for Hire, Enemy, Misfit Toys, um, Dynasties and Dystopias. Um, what's it called? Yo, Snake, Yo, Snake. Why can't I think of that name? Anyways, the one that played in Episode 8. Just a great soundtrack all around. But the characters are so incredibly well written. Jinx is a top two character of all time for me. Her story is beyond heartbreaking and compelling and just thematically rich. And I can't believe I'm going to see a follow-up to the ending of season one in the next year. Like, it's just so real to think about. I think Vi was a great character. I can't wait to see where her character goes this season. I think Caitlyn is a great character, and I can't wait to see where she goes this season. I can't wait to see more of Jace and Victor and uh, Heimodango and Echo. It seems like there's going to be a lot more of Echo based on what I've heard of. And even getting, finding out like what happened at the end of season one, I, I can't wait. Um, I could go on and on about this forever, but my goodness, I just think the first season is as perfect as TV shows come and I have no reason to doubt season two and um, I, I just hope it's more thematically rich, compelling character work, engaging story with emotion and stakes and tension and I, I, I just, yeah. It, easily my most anticipated show of 2024 but what's your list let me know in the comments down below make sure you like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos soon and gavin out